Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to use simple transitions in Adobe XD. What I have here are two artboards and what I'm going to show you is how to prototype this top portion here where I click the headline or the image and it'll take me to the actual story that's contained on this artboard here. In a previous tutorial using this same example, I went over how to use repeat grid. So we were primarily in the design tab in XD. Today, because I have all the designs set, I'm going to move on to the prototype stage. So I'm gonna go up in the top left-hand corner here, you see design and then prototype. Let's go ahead and click prototype. That's going to bring up a different workspace on your right, but more importantly, when I click certain things, you'll see that these handles appear in which case you can drag on to different artboards and we're going to get into that in a second. So I'm just going to zoom in here because I really want to focus in on this area here and I'm going to click, I'm going to click right now this package which I've grouped together so it doesn't matter where I'm going to click here um, either the headline or the picture itself it's going to take me to the second page. So you see this handle here, this blue wire handle. I'm going to click that and just drag it onto my second page or my second artboard where that story is. And on the right hand side, these are settings that you should pay attention to. Um, the trigger, we want a tap trigger. So the user will tap the headline or the, the image itself and it will trigger a tap motion right to the second artboard, to the story. The transition, we do want to leave it at transition, okay? The destination has already been set because I've dragged that handle onto my second um, artboard, but if you had to change that, you can do that. I only have three artboards here, so the only other option in my case would actually clicking um, the third artboard, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave it on the second. And the animation, the animation, you can have it slide to the left, to the right, up, down, and so on. I want to leave it at none because when I click on that, I want a just a straight transition over to the story. Okay, so let's go ahead and click none. And then you won't have to worry about the easing out and the duration of the animation because we've set it to none. So what I'm going to do now is let's play that first part and see how it looks. So just click on your artboard up top here, the name of it, and then in the top right hand corner you have this little play button that allows you to preview your work. So let's go ahead and click that. And what I can do now is you can notice my cursor is already turning into a pointer where I can click. So I'm going to click that and there you go, it takes me right to um, that, second, that second artboard which has the story. Now I created a button up here, back button, which we're going to create a back transition to go back to our landing page or our home page. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to shift over to the right a bit, zoom in a little bit more, and we're going to add a transition to this button here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now instead of clicking and dragging this over, I'm just going to click it once. Okay, and that's going to, that's going to bring up these settings again. And I do want to tap trigger that's fine because we want to tap to go back and the action instead of a transition let's make it an auto animate okay and I'll show you why in a second because when we click it it's going to give it kind of like a fading out back to uh, the home page which gives it a cool a cool look as well so I have it on auto animate and the destination I'm going to choose is voyage app one so that's my first artboard and then the ease out I'm going to leave it on ease out and I'm going to change the duration of this to 2.2 seconds. Okay. And I'm just going to click off and zoom back out and let's take a look at those two transitions that I created. So I'm going to click on the first, um, the first artboard here. You can see the wires that are connected to each artboard. So I'm going to click that and let's go back to play. And I'm going to click on the, the top story here takes me back to here so I can scroll, read the story. When I'm done, I'm going to click my back button here and you can see it takes me back to the home page. You notice there the transition was a little bit different so it eases out and it gives you kind of a fade in whereas this is more of a hard transition which is fine. Um, play around with the transitions and see what works best for you but that's a great way of 
adding a um, an animation such as uh, an ease out, okay, or an easing. So I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna click out of this. One other thing I wanted to, to show you is if I click this um, this artboard here, and I'm just gonna shift over to the left hand side where I can open up my my artboards. And so these are your layers, and I have three layers here, three artboards. I'm just going to double click the Voyage app one. And this is kind of a cool thing to note is if I click on Featured Story Package, which contains this photo, the headline, if I click that, I can go here and click on Fix Position Scrolling. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I hit play here, let me show you this. If I hit play and I scroll, you can notice the top portion of my image here also scrolls with the actual page itself but let's just say I wanted to keep this in place I'm going to go to voyage one and I'm gonna click on featured story package and I'm gonna fix position when scrolling and now let's take a look if I hit play when I scroll everything all the content goes behind the image so you don't lose this portion and so if you ever wanted to go back and click on that you still could and then you could always go back but that's a cool way of keeping this locked in position while scrolling through the other content it's just another way of bringing attention to your featured image and your featured story okay so that's it that's for today's tutorial I hope you enjoyed it just some simple transitions and uh, some neat scrolling techniques in Adobe XD Hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.